What is going on guys, Bisectatron here, bringing you guys today's video back to a classic series, the Attack Meta series. In this one I break down all of the best attacks at each Town Hall level, uh, Town Hall 10, 11, and 12 specifically. Gives you guys a good idea of what to make sure you have maxed out in your army camps, what you want to you know, be practicing in friendly challenges, looking to use in wars, and what you want to be building to defend against as you're building your bases for war. Um, apologies if you can hear my dog snoring in the background, but let's get right into it here. Um, starting at Town Hall 12, all of these replays coming from our war against uh, Crunch Time. And um, of course, have to show my base getting crushed by one of these strategies. Um, this actually isn't my base technically, because uh, I was given this base to run by uh, some of our leadership. And I'm a little disappointed because I had my own bases and this one ended up getting 3 starred pretty easily. Um, but this is a very powerful attack, so it can happen to almost any base. Even if you have all multi-infernos, this mass witch, uh, witch slap I guess is what it's being called. Um, but basically coming in uh, with a ton of witches, almost entirely witches, uh, 5 healers behind. And the witches are pretty tanky in hit points, especially after some recent updates. Uh, so they can do okay, the healers will keep them up, you just kind of push through. Then you spend almost all your spells, besides maybe like a jump or a rage, in bats and freezes. And then we have those handy ice golems to tank as well uh, for wizard towers. I made a video on that recently, check that out. Um, but yeah, the bats come around and just kind of clean up the perimeter as the witches gut the core of the base. Uh, so right here the bats do start to go down to those wizard towers and tornado trap, but there's a plenty of witches left up. I typically have a P.E.K.K.A. or two, um, that's from the wall wrecker I believe. Uh, ice golem P.E.K.K.A. is a classic combo for the wall wrecker, or just two ice golems and some filler. Uh, but that, that'll do it, you know, just come in from, I guess, opposite the town hall or same side as the town hall, although you might need a jump spell if you're not going to be able to get very far with your wall wrecker push. But you come in with just a bunch of witches, your healers, usually use the king to funnel. Um, kind of make sure everything goes in, you're not going to have things straying to the outside. And then once you know you kind of get to the core, the eagle starts to go down. Um, even if there's multiple multi-infernos, even if there's wizard towers, you're investing a ton in terms of spells. So you're going to have like four freezes, just keep everything frozen, keep those bats going around. And uh, you can just uh, crush some bases. And that's a good example of it. Um, one more Town Hall 12, just showing, like I said, the best stuff. These are the top attacks um, that you guys need to, <coughs> need to know about. Uh, not going to show anything too uh, fringe. This is the mainstream stuff, easiest stuff to do. It's what's working right now. Um, this other one, not terribly different, but um, definitely has a lot of differences in the army composition. As well as the spells here, you'll see. Um, this is... And sometimes this is a little bit more base specific, but straight up, uh, just queen walk into a bow witch. You have the uh, E-Dragon to funnel the queen. Get some great value off this E-Dragon. Speaking of E-Dragon value, we'll see a lot more, uh, a much better example uh, in just a moment on the next attack. But um, queen goes into the wall wrecker here, meets up, has bowlers, uh, P.E.K.K.A., some witches on the other side. And there is the element of luck in this attack, because you'll see the Lava Hound actually goes over to the Witches, which actually helps out very nicely, because it keeps the Witches back enough, they're not going to die, but they will spawn skeletons. Meanwhile, the Queen is freed up to not have to deal with the Lava Hound. She can, you know, snipe all these different buildings, the Expo, etc. Um, jump Spell connects the Town Hall, and this thing's pretty much over. Save that Warden all the way till now. Awesome job holding that Warden's ability, and... Um, definitely get some good value from it so yeah this is another good uh, option to do is just it's a good high percentage two star most times which is sometimes important in different situations um, and it's also has a good shot for a three star um, a few kind of honorable mentions which is something I like to do because I can't show replays for everything and um, uh, it would just make the video too long sometimes I don't even have replays of it but drag bat is definitely still strong against some bases I put up, I think, like a 97, 98%. Almost got a triple this war. Um, so I'm not going to show it, but because uh, you guys have seen it a lot already, you know the technique. But Dragbat, still look to do it. Um, especially 
as people are starting to defend other stuff, you can kind of take out the air defenses for a cheap price, uh, create a good funnel, and just send those dragons down the gut, bat spell back end usually. Or sometimes this dude's like a clone, don't even have to bat the back end, just go very heavy and try to overpower it. Um, but definitely that as well as miners. Miners haven't been seeing it as much, but it can work against the right base if you can get the funneling narrow enough. It seems like the Lava Hound CCs have made it difficult to queen charge in a lot of like, situations, um, which is usually necessary to make a small enough path for the miners. Uh, but, you know, it's something on the table as well. So you got the main ones tend to be more of the uh, uh, Witch Slap and Bow Witch type, uh, uh, I guess, spam type attacks. Uh, spam's not the right word because none of these spam attacks are going to do justice because um, they are very well thought out attacks. But um, those type of ground attacks are typically the strongest. And then dragons and miners are also uh, working in certain situations, a little more base specific but check out the value this E-Dragon gets. It just took out like this entire um, defense group right there. This E-Dragon is not gonna die the entire attack. I know that's almost impossible to believe, um, but it will just continue to stay up. It's insane how much value uh, he gets from this E-Dragon. I uh, love using E-Dragons for funnels, and this is a great example of how to do it. Um, but the queen's gonna meet up down here with the uh, P.E.K.K.A. Bowler push, has some witches as well, and um, you can see the Inferno Towers, the Eagle, everything is pretty much in that nice accessible push. Um, nothing is you know, too far off to the side or anything. Good job on the funnel. I like the early Warden, just keep everything up. It gets the stuff on the flank in there as well. Uh, protects them for a little while, so that works out very nicely. A nice soft CC isn't too much of an issue. Um, Queen gets through it very quickly, just cuts right through it. And like I said, this E-Dragon, still alive, took out the entire like top part of the base. Um, this just got insane value. It's one of the reasons this attack just crushed this base so much, but Wall Wrecker is still up, just going into nowhere at this point. Um, love to see that. If your Wall Wrecker gets that far, uh, it's pretty much a guaranteed three star. Just going all the way, right there, just drops it out, has a bunch of Valks in it, but crazy stuff there, that E-Dragon value especially, love to see that. Um, fast forward to the end here, because we have quite a few to look at. Um, but that's a good one. Uh, similar to Town Hall 12, look to use that. Um, a lot of these I'm showing because they're they're not too difficult, they're not gonna you know have you fail and get a one star, so that's important uh, in certain wars for certain types of clans, but also, um, you know, not going to take a ton of time and a ton of skill to execute some of these if you get the right base and uh, you have a little bit of room for error. Um, this next one I've been seeing more, maybe it's just our clan, but and it does require this base to have been hit already usually, um, just because if it's a not a like Hound Loon CC, you could have issues potentially. Although with a poison and a freeze, and sometimes two poisons and a freeze, if you only bring, you know, five heal spells instead of six. Uh, you can deal with most CC combos, uh, including like a big dragon even. So that's something to think about. It's just fresh hitting a base with miners. But um, here on either side, mass miner down the middle can work in a lot of situations here, especially um, using the wall record to tank. And the wall record does such a good job tanking it gets all the way through the base. So once again, um, I guess that's the key, guys. Get that wall record through the base here. It uh, looks like there's hogs. Or no, only one hog. The rest is max miners. Um... Sometimes you have kind of a choice. Do I bring hog riders or miners in my wall wrecker or in my slammer or whatever? Uh, the way I think of it is if it's going to deploy right in the middle of the base, have it be miners. If it's going to deploy on the side, use hogs because if it's miners, they might get caught up on the trash if they're too close to the outside. So you're better off bringing hogs because you know they'll stay inside the base, actually target defenses and get you good value um, as opposed to miners which will run out to the outside. So that's the way I think about it. Um, number 12 here, had to show it, this is definitely one of the most popular ones still, uh, Drag Bat, Town Hall 11, I'd say it's definitely more popular right now uh, than at Town Hall 12, and maybe even than at Town Hall 10, um, just because at Town Hall 10 so much stuff is working that it's kind of spread out to some extent, but I would say right now Drag Bat is most po uh, popular, most strong at Town Hall 11, and um, this is just a textbook example of how to use it. Uh, you know, heroes on one side, E-Dragon on the other, 
Hound Loon gets lured because the king ran in. Don't like seeing that. Um, but it shows the strength of this. Oh, Great Warden's ability, by the way, gets everything in that. That's exactly how you want to do it. Um, but the Lava Hound uh, is going to explode here. Takes quite a bit of damage that would otherwise be going to defensive buildings. But that's okay. Um, dragons are still up. And then has the bats for the back end. Just drops it right on one of those wizard towers. Not much other splash around the back end. A big mistake for the... Uh, uh, the defender here and setting up this base because the bats will get a ton of value and this base is just crushed. So nice attack there to Costly and we will advance on to some Town Hall uh, 10 action. But yeah, that's it for Town Hall 11. Uh, you got the Miners, uh, the Mass Miner also moving in as a solid option. As we saw, you can do the Queen Charge as well, didn't show that. Uh, but that's an option. You got the dragons, of course, of course, and then just the you know classic queen walk into a bow witch. Um, all stuff not that's ter not terribly new and pretty reliable against a lot of bases. Okay, uh, number 28 here as we switch gears into Town Hall 10, and a lot is working, mind you, at Town Hall 10. It's one of those videos where, um, or one of those like times is for a Town Hall level where really a lot is working and you can make an argument that a lot of different attack strategies should be shown. Um, I'm choosing to show stuff that is working well in our clan and also maybe you guys haven't seen this as much in your clan uh, or maybe it's something that you didn't know was like back in the meta but here it is. And one of them I think that often gets neglected is the Falcon but I've been having so much success uh, personally with it at Town Hall 10 and I've been seeing the clan do well with it as well. Um, it's just a good go-to and the slammer makes it even better. And I, I touched on this a little bit in my uh, video I made. I think the most recent video. I already uh, plugged that once. But here's the uh, plug again for it. Um, I talked about uh, Falcon at Town Hall 10 and Drag Bat Town Hall 11. Uh, stuff like that. Ice Golem with the bats. But uh, the, the point is... This is definitely something that I've been seeing a lot. Great thing to look to use, and um, a lot of room for error on this as well. As long as the funnel is good, that's you know 90% of the attack. Just get everything to go in, and the slammer gets so much value on the back end. And as you can see, you know people put the air defenses right on the outside of the base. Oftentimes, that's okay. Just slammer straight up into the air defense. I'd usually use a balloon or two. Uh, Would have soaked up that seek near mine. Save yourself some hit points. Uh, that's about a third of the slammer's hit points, if not more, gone right away. So don't like seeing that. But um, besides that, yes, drop the slammer down. It'll get some good value. Put some balloons, some hogs, whatever in it. Haste spell, if you have that extra spell space. And those balloons will kind of clean things up here. They do go down as that air defense locks on, but Queen is still alive, has her ability. A few Valks left up, and this base is toast. Oftentimes it'll crush it even more than what... Uh, you see here, this one wasn't a little bit close, I guess. Not terribly close, but um, this can really crush bases. I had an attack. I think it was. I think it was this war, and I regret not showing it now because I just remembered. I must have kind of breezed through it as I was looking for replays to show. I don't think a single one of my Valks died the entire attack. I lost a bowler or two just because they kind of split, uh, spread out, and they're not that high in hit points. Got picked off. But I don't think I lost a single Valkyrie the entire attack. A um, little bit close on time because my Queen Walk was pretty long. Um, I think that's part of the reason why the attack was so successful and it crushed the base so hard. Um, but yeah, it can just destroy bases sometimes. So look to use it. Um, this next one, you know, nothing new. Drag Bat, Town Hall 10. Um, definitely still strong. Uh, like I said, not quite as popular as the Town Hall 11 counterpart, but the Slammer is, you know, that much stronger at these lower Town Hall levels. Uh, so look to use it and um, look to get some good value from your heroes on the funnel. That's a lot of what it is, is setting this up. You know, once the dragons are in, there's not much you can do, but you can set them up really well. In this case, the queen kind of dips over to the dragons a little bit, which was kind of weird. Um, so the funnel is not great because once they get in the base, a lot, very spread out, a lot of different uh, ways for them to split up here, but they get the important stuff in the core. Slammer on the back end, you know, coming in here, going to tank that wizard tower, and you can see there's only a little bit of the base left up, and still holding on to, what, uh, 10 spell space right there, drops it down, 
uh, has the wizard tower being occupied and uh, it does switch actually the wizard tower starts to take out some bats which we don't like to see um, but even as it is a few bats are going to survive on the outside plus the you know balloons from the slammer and the dragons I mean it really wasn't that important for the bats to get much value besides the inferno tower air defense in the area so great stuff um, just about done here have one more replay to show as we wrap this up but a lot of different stuff's working at town hall 10 um, so it's hard to, uh, to get everything mentioned here but uh, the last one we're going to take a look at is going to be mass miners it's making a bit of a comeback I think at the lower town hall levels Town Hall 12, it's almost kind of gone away a little bit as a, a three-star attack, um, for whatever reason. Maybe it's just people who are trying other stuff, but uh, I saw a lot of miners at Town Hall 10 this war, both in the form of Queen Charge and in the form of just kind of this spam miner attack. And once again, you know, the CC is the unknown uh, in a lot of cases. Nice double poison there, make sure the balloon goes down. Um, that's the important thing because nothing in there can take it out. It'll kill your miners pretty darn quickly if uh, if you don't take out that balloon. But yeah, the CC can be a question mark, although, especially at Town Hall 10, I'm not that scared of going into an unknown CC, as long as you got two poison spells. Um, Town Hall 11, you only have one poison spell if you opt to bring the CC as a heal or a rage. Um, so what I would do is if you're going to go into a blind CC with a mass miner at Town Hall 11, uh, I think as I mentioned as we saw in one of the previous replays, uh, look to bring like two poisons and a freeze. That way, you know, freeze the CC, double poison it, it'll go down no matter what it is as long as it's not like a Lava Hound or a Golem. Golem would be really troll if they had that, but no one runs a Golem CC these days because that's pretty much all it's good for is, um is breaking up like a, a minor attack but they're not going to be expecting you to go in there blind um ice golem i guess could be an issue but besides that like uh the, the meta ccs are not too much much of an issue uh mainly lava hounds is what we're seeing so that plays in perfectly and um works at town hall 11 works at town hall 10 especially if you're on a cleanup and you know it's like a hound cc definitely be looking to do this uh steal an easy three star for yourself don't have to work too hard for it um, but anyway, that will do it, guys. Thanks for watching today's video. Going to have a, uh, another one coming out soon, so stay tuned for that. And hopefully the, uh, you can work on your attacking skills and your base building as well, based on what you saw here and what's, uh, what's strong right now at these Town Hall levels. But until next time, signing off by Sectatron out.